This is Tiffany Grant, and you're listening to Geek Era. Stupid nerds ruin everything, right? Yeah. Every Jedi, every Sith man I'm that guy And I beat battle toads. Yes, I'm a dungeon master Stay through the credits and Avengers Every home that I'm watching Don't you know, cause there's something after I'll okay, cure, I'll spoil it for ya Cause it wasn't even really that great So don't bother wasting your time here Let me recommend you something better anyway I wrote petitions for every show that I'm missing And my gamer score is dope I get every item and I finish every mission Who's that they're casting in it? What's that they're doing, man? I gotta sign on, gotta get on a message board Give you my... How's it going? This is uh, Sean Alpha, and here with special guest, uh, LA cosplayer Seattle. Karen Sakai. Oh, Seattle. <laughs> it's close <laughs> enough. Cheers. Uh, so, Karen, tell me about yourself. Um, okay, so my name is Karen Sakai. Um, uh, I just hit my year mark in cosplay, so I'm, mm-hmm. that's pretty exciting for me. I'm a little bit of my backstory is. Um, I was in the Navy for four years, and um, I really, really enjoyed it. And um, during the Navy, I realized that it's just easier just to be yourself. I've dealt with people that um, – oh, I'm going to go off on a tangent. I've dealt with people that, you know, helped me realize who I am and whatnot. So um, I started to get back into cosplay because – I did cosplaying about 10 years ago in the early 2000s, but it wasn't socially acceptable for females to show their nerdy side. Hence, I got bullied a lot for it. So after I got out of the Navy, I started to model, and then I realized that cosplaying is huge. And I'm just like, oh, my God, I want to go back into it. So, um, yeah, I got back into cosplay. Um, After the Navy, I went to college, and I got two degrees, one in anthropology and the second one in primate behavior and ecology. And that's where the first uh, research of chimpanzees learning ASL was developed by um, Roger Fouts up here in Ellensburg. And Washa was the first chimpanzee to be cross-fostered to learn um, American Sign Language. And that's uh, part of my degree is learning about um, chimps and other pongids, which are the great apes. Whew, that was long. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's really interesting. Uh, have you? How, how long have you been interested in sort of cosplaying itself? Uh, well, oh, I've always, I've always liked it. I mean, I've always been that nerdy girl all the way back in the day. And I did a first cosplay on Yu-Gi-Oh because Yu-Gi-Oh was really popular here in America about ten years ago. And um, I got, I got kind of hated for it in school, so I kind of put it on the lowdown. And then. Um, after I got out of the military, I got into modeling, and then um, I saw that cosplay was back up, and I was like, this is what I want to do. I would rather do cosplay than, like, lingerie, bathing suit um, fo- photos. Ah. Uh, so what are, what are actually the, the conventions like over in America? A lot of us over in this side of the world, because, it's, you know, it's way too expensive for us to go over, so... Yeah. Unless you're, you know, well established as far as a job goes, what what are like LA conventions like? Uh, well, okay, so I am I'm pretty I'm a new cosplayer, so I don't get to travel a lot. Um, mm-hmm. But I've been to some big conventions over here in Washington State, such as PAX. Um, I haven't been to BlizzCon. There's Emerald City Comic Con, uh, and there's some other smaller conventions such as. Um, Oh, what else do we have? Um, there's like Steam Con, but um, Sakura Con is a big one. Sakura Con, PAX, and Emerald City Comic Con is a big one over here in Seattle, Washington. Um, like, how do you want to know about them? Uh, just sort of like, wh- what's the sort of the community on that side of the globe like? Oh, oh, the community, the cosplay community. Yeah. Very friendly. Very, very friendly. Um. It, it's like a, it's like a giant family. Um, 
everyone is supportive of one, one another. The most anxious part is like getting to the convention where you're you're in your cosplay and you're walking by like the normal people going to work and stuff like that. And then they stare at you like, what is this girl doing? And then all of a sudden you get in the convention and everyone's cosplaying and everyone's just like wants to take your picture and everyone's just so exciting. It's like a huge like rush. It's 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 great. It's really fun. I actually wish we had more conventions here that we could go to. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, what what are sort of like your favorite shows to actually uh, cosplay? Well, actually, I'm more of a, a gamer cosplayer. I would say I'm I like anime manga, but I'm more of a gamer kind of person. Um, some shows like anime I've cosplay. I'm currently working on Mikasa from Attack on Titan. Um, I do a lot of comic cosplays, uh, and then I did do a Yu Gi Oh the cartoon or anime I should say of uh, Weevil as a cross gendered cosplay um, but normally I do a lot of games huh. what's your favorite game then to cosplay oh that's such a difficult question um, my favorite one I guess I would say is League of Legends if you've heard of that game League of Legends is extremely popular over here okay okay so you know what the game is okay yeah, there's a it's a lot of fun dressing up as a female. My favorite one was my Katarina cosplay. That was a lot of fun making and just being her. <laughs> you kind of like slip into when you when you cosplay at least for me, you kind of slip into the character and when you go to the photo shoot, you know, you act like her. So, I felt like for a few hours I was this badass mid laner with an attitude. It was it was great. Ah, but uh oh, so uh, I, I know that sort of like uh, there's always sort of wh- what do you think is sort of the the biggest sort of difficulties or challenges sort of getting into cosplay? Uh, one of course I would say is the resources. Cosplay is really expensive, especially if you make everything yourself. Um, and you know you want to make it look. <laughs> I admit a few of my cosplays have been made from pizza boxes. Um, but it can get expensive, especially if you want it to look good, such as buying um, equipment like Warbler. Warbler is a really, really good um, – I really don't know how to describe it. It's really good for making armor. Um, there's mm-hmm. there's Eva foam you can buy, um, but it can get pricey in the more and more armor you make. Another one is just skill. You just have to learn how to do it, and mistakes happen. Mistakes help you learn. Um, I followed a lot of YouTube videos, and – I have failed a lot of times and realized that the most important thing I can say when people even message me on my page about how to get into cosplay or become a better cosplayer is to just practice. And there's not one way of doing it. There's, there's multiple ways you can use many different materials, many different um, tools to use. You just got to find like what you're comfortable with and make it work. Ah, So, uh, uh, How has been sort of the reception like to, you know, not not the cosplay community, but just the norm every the every other sort of attendees at conventions when you first sort of came onto the scene? Uh, could you could you repeat that using different words maybe? Uh, sure. What was like uh, your reaction from other people that weren't cosplaying when you sort of came into the scene? Like what kind of reactions I got? Yeah. Well, of course, you know, I have my boobs out and stuff like that. So I got, you know, a lot of people wanted to take my photos and whatnot. Um, (laughs) um, That's pretty much it. Not very many people. I have a few people that recognize me like, oh, you're Terrence Makai. Can I take a picture? And I'm like, sure. But other than that, I'm not that noticed a lot. But I I do get people that want to take my pictures. Um, I'm not sure if it's because, like, you know, my boobs are out or that my cosplay looks good. But, um I, I haven't really gotten anything negative. I did get um, one negative comment on the first con I went to. Um, I did a female Ezreal. And, um, of course, when I met, there was I saw other League of Legends cosplayers. You know, we all huddled in our group. And I'm like, oh, my God. And we went to go take a group picture. Um, there was this guy cosplaying as a Twisted Fate who was just like, you do know that your cosplay looks like complete shit. And I'm just like, oh. <gasps> Oh no! <laughs> that was probably the worst. Well, thing that's I ever very heard. bluntly honest. He he was honest. He was honest, but at the same time, I kind of like. I first I took it to heart, but then I kind of like. I was like, eh, yeah, you know, I'm I'm cross gendered. You know, Ezreal's a male character, so I I kind of um, you know, took it as as a 
hmm, how can I use his response to make this cosplay look better? Yeah. Uh, so the next question is sort of like, what advice would you actually give first-time cosplayers? First-time cosplayers? Um, just do it. Just you see cosplay, make it how you think you can, and then learn from your mistakes. Just do it. Like Nike, just do it. <laughs> uh, have you ever uh, have you thought about going to other conventions across America or traveling over to Europe? Oh, I would love to, but the biggest thing is money. Um, I'm still, you know, paying off my student loans and um, whatnot, and I would love to go. Of course, I'd love to go to another country, you know, just for the experience, but I really want to go to things like Dragon Con and BlizzCon, but it's just the money. Um, uh, there is a new convention in Texas called Legend Con, and I was asked to be a guest, so um, that's going to be pretty exciting for me. That's you know that's one yeah that's one small step mm -hmm. anyway. Uh, do you, uh, so what? Uh, just uh, is there anything else you'd like to sort of talk about as far as you know? Yeah, what were your, your upcoming sort of costumes you have in store for? Us? Oh, okay. So um, I actually just finished um, a Tifa Lockhart cosplay. If she's from Final Fantasy VII. Um, ah. Yeah, that that one's fun. It was I had fun making her gloves and her armor. Um, another one I'm working on is uh, a Juliet from uh, Lollipop Chainsaw. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on uh, those two right now. And then, of course, I uh, I really want to do Nidalee from League as well. She's awesome. <laughs> ah, so it, it seems that, you you know, you've had sort of an amazing experience compared to a lot, you know, a lot of people, a lot of cosplayers wouldn't be able to sort of do it. Is there any specific sort of cosplayers that you sort of are idolized that you want to work up your skill to? Uh, like who I idolize? Yeah. Well, my favorite cosplayers, um, I'm probably going to butcher her last name, Jessica Negri. I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name, but, um, she's, she's really inspiring. Um, um, she's just herself, you know, she has, she's very sexualized and she uses that for her full advantage and she's not afraid to show it. Um, I do know that she had, uh, fake implants, fake breast implants, and she claims she doesn't. And I think that's one thing that she should own up to because she's just so, um, legit and down to earth. That doesn't seem like something she'd hide, but, um, that's. But other than that, her cosplays, her work, they're fantastic. I love her attitude, her enthusiasm. Um, she's somebody that I really, 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 really look up to. Uh, yeah, I think everyone across, you know, across the, anyone into cosplay or anyone that goes to conventions actually knows knows her. And Yaya Han was supposed to come to Ireland a few years ago, so. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, she she ended up missing the event. She was supposed to come here. Oh. I think she came here for a holiday, and literally a few weeks after that. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, what uh, have have you played any of the? What's your favorite Final Fantasy actually? Since you're in nine. nine, 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 nine. <laughs> not 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 like Hitler. Not like not German. Nine, nine, nine. But like nine, nine's my favorite. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll have sort of uh, the links to your, your cosplay page and whatnot. And thank you again, Karen Sakai, for coming on to the podcast. Yeah, of course. So you need, like, how to find me and whatnot? Yep. Okay, so I'm most active on my Facebook fan page, which is facebook.com slash Karen Sakai Cosplay. Twitter, Karen underscore Sakai. Instagram, Karen underscore Sakai. YouTube, K Kim Sakai. Um... Oh, Tumblr, I believe, is Karen Sakai. <laughs> and DeviantArt, Karen Sakai, dash, cosplay. <laughs> Cheers, and uh, this is a Geek Era special.